morning. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> we thought you were talking to your viewers. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. And yeah, today we have, we're talking about an interesting topic with interesting people. Um, yeah, can you just introduce yourself, please? Okay. Um, hi, my name is Mercy. <laughs> I'll go first since this is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Mercy. Um, I currently work as a procurement specialist, but that's like my day job. My everyday life is working on things that I'm passionate about, which is Braille magazine. It's a digital print magazine. So um, in my spare time, I blog. I vlog once in a while. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's almost about it. Hi, my name is Glory. Um, I think this is the second time I'll be featuring in your channel. Um, some of your viewers probably know me. For those who don't know me, um, my name is Glory and I'm currently doing my PhD in Cyprus. And um, what else do you guys want? You to love know? talking so about relationships. Talk about <laughs> <laughs> I love talking about messy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the truth like i love talking about relationships and like whenever they're talking about relationships just, i have to i have to be there that's why that's why i brought you for you because i'm like okay glory she's a relationship expert she loves talking about relationships yeah, no, right. we're just here to support you know, know. just we're just here, for, I'm just here know, to ask support. that's it that's it <laughs> because i know not <laughs> And so we're talking about um, dating today. Um, yeah, dating generally um, is a broad topic, but we'll just be like streamlining it and just look at things that people should do while they're dating and um, tell their dating a bit because we know that this world has just, <laughs> just gone over the board and about dating and stuff like that. So we just want to like make everybody come to the understanding, okay, this is what dating means and this is what you're supposed to be doing during dating and tell their dating a bit and maybe red flags to look out for and like in relationship and stuff like that so that your dating life might be, be a disaster do you understand so yeah so let's just start with um what does dating mean to you generally because here in nigeria dating is just like different the problem would mean something different for messing in texas and mean something different from being here i mean like the word mm -hmm. and it probably would also mean something different for you as well based on your location because i was talking to someone a friend in Canada, I think um, just this week. And then the person was like, um, for him, dating is just that point where he's just trying to meet someone, familiarize with the person. Probably they go out on one or two dates and they're not really doing anything serious. They are just trying to check out each other. And then after like three dates, he should be able to tell whether he wants to do a relationship with this person. So when, um, they say you, when you say you are dating, what do you mean by you are dating? Huh, I'll not lie. Before I say I am dating this person, I'm not just going to going to hang out in the restaurant with you. I mean, like for me, for me, dating has to do with that point where um you are sure. I probably feel someone's vibe. Uh -huh. Well, it depends on what show is. But <laughs> then it it looks like it. So I'm trying to check if this is it. So what do you think, Mercy? Yep. Yeah. For me, I feel like dating is a period of intentionality. If it's you just getting to know somebody, it's more so you being intentional and saying that, okay, this period, I just feel like I need to know certain things about you before I can make a very, like Lori said, make a very precise decision whether I should be in a relationship with you or not. Dating for other people can be talking to multiple multiple people at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I'm about to ask that too, that when you're dating Yeah, people, I don't have that kind of energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't have that kind of energy and time because again i feel like dating is if you're really doing the work that is needed it's very um time consuming so it means uh -huh. you're trying to get to know this person on a level that do our values align you're asking deep questions and I feel like are you asking multiple people the same time? and dating can be it's expensive though just so i feel like you get to know more when you focus on one person people do that uh -huh. in dating because um it seems like spread your net out so you catch more yeah, so you know put your your all your, your eggs yeah in your is that what you think about glory too is that the thing for you you have to be exclusive with the person when you're dating somebody you can just date more or talk to multiple people at a time i think i might have is i might have a slight different opinion for what Messi said um if it's 
if we're already in a relationship, then your date, okay, now the word dating relationship again. Okay. So if, if, if you're already like dating in the African contest where you are dating, then it has to be very exclusive. It, it's dating is a lot. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of talking on the phone, especially if it's a long distance one. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of, and if you don't like God, it's, mushy mushy. it's a lot. So you can't do that with multiple people. But um, if it is just like, oh, we're hanging out, casual friends, then I think you can get to know as many people as possible. Then at that point, you now decide who you actually want to date. So I guess for me, though, looking at it that way is, for me, I like where, and, and, and I guess it's a part of what we'll talk about online dating and all that. I'm more comfortable with friends that I've known over time asking me out it's more like and that's how it played out for me so to a large extent i can vouch for their character and all of that type of thing but yeah. what she's saying is more so i have friends maybe they have interest in me i i really don't know we're just talking everybody's like yeah that, that to me is still friendship but at that point where i tell somebody i give somebody my word that i'm get okay i'm going to get to know you um on a pathway to get into a relationship. I feel at that point, I can't really entertain, um, you know, any other person. How long do you think that the talking stage before you get to the dating stage should be? Like, does he have like a time frame or something? Hmm. Well, for somebody like me, I don't just like someone just rigmarrowing around me without being intentional and telling me what exactly you want. So I can't just have you calling me and calling me, you're calling me the morning, before you go leave for work, you're calling me at night before you sleep, and then you're not saying anything. That's already it's too long for me. If it is someone who has already been your friend, I mean, probably a childhood friend, you probably talk all the time. So I can't say how long should I talk to a childhood friend before we start dating. But then someone who is deliberately occupying my space, I feel like as soon as you're, you know that, okay, you want to date me, then make your intentions. Otherwise, I could pop the question out. Ooh. So once I start to say <laughs> that, oh. guy, I am no longer waiting for them to just be rude. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't have that time. That's the thing. That's my time. That's my energy. So it's like, hey, guy, what's up? Like, you're calling me. You are texting. You are doing this. You're doing this. What's up exactly? Some of them, yeah, like they need you the questions so that you have, like, bring that um, do you have to sit down with, like, have, like, important questions to ask, like, okay, what are we doing? Where are we going? And stuff like that. Or it's just a lot of things. It's just, not like I would do it like a family meeting and call a meeting. It's going to look too formal. Just, if it's, of course, if it's someone you're vibing with is your friend. So you should be able to, like, hey, what's up? like this cause that they just should i consider them because you see cases as well where someone is doing all of those and they already expect you to figure it out by yourself like that mm -hmm. they are interested and then when you see you talking to someone else it's like but i was you didn't say anything so in that kind of case if i'm meeting that kind of person i would help you say it. i mean i'll help you make the atmosphere whatever easier for you so that you can make your intentions and then if you don't really have intentions to date i don't see why you should occupy that much space in my life watching a show yesterday and um they asked the boyfriend that they, they, they kept them in separate rooms you understand they asked the boyfriend that how long have you been dating the boyfriend said oh about two months the girl was like oh six months she was very sure that it was six months and the guy was like oh, two months. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. How? <laughs> How so one person was already in a relationship for months before, and the other person wasn't. Oh, <laughs> it's very dicey because I feel like this is a um, it's a personal thing, uh. and what Dory said again, it's a yardstick for people to have a timeline. So it could be it could be ten months. In and you start seeing that the dynamics of the friendship or the relationship is changing. It could be three months in, it could be one month in and all of that. I feel like if you're going by world standard, like what people say, they would say three months is enough time for somebody to um, try and get to know you and be very decisive about you. I want to know you on a relationship level and all of that. Me personally, I still go by, yes, what she said. Like when you know, because I'm investing into the friendship and I'm thinking I'm investing on a friendship level. 
your thinking mm -hmm. or your scheming let me get this girl very comfortable with me then i pop up the question <laughs> we have right <laughs> and we're both not and then you now spring it up on me and say okay I was, first of all i tell people like people expect you to like she said know that i'm interested in you for a relationship me you literally have to drop it into my head <laughs> <laughs> funny enough i'm beginning to agree that when somebody really likes you or like it doesn't take a while for people to know if they really like you or they want something else. Yeah, and I think, and I think that when and, you like the person to you'll be comfortable to open up very fast. Do you understand? You don't have to wait for like yes. over. you get if people are buying yes, to all those over oh, three months, two weeks, it, 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 sometimes it's not somebody in five days. I mean, not that I know somebody's got married first, but yeah. like, it's like know that okay, I want to actually be with this person. But just to pick on what Lori was also saying about, you know, prompting the person to ask. <laughs> Me, I don't like asking. So I don't like, cause I don't like stress in my life. And stress for me looks like the person is not prepared. And, but it's good to ask. That's why we need to normalize asking people that question. I'm just using myself as an example, you know. And my reason for not asking is, it's not, so for certain people, it's not as though I'm int I'm interested in them, but I feel like by the time I ask you, then I'll be like, you didn't really like me before. So if I had to like literally squeeze your neck, your neck for yeah. you to tell me or, or bring that out of you. So most times that, that's that's for me why I wouldn't ask. But so I you not asking, will you allow the person to still keep like high level of communication and then you're not asking? So if I know I don't I do not want to lead you on and I feel like that's where your 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 direction is, of course I would you know, step down in terms of, and, and that's also dicey. That's why I said people should have this conversation because you don't want to have been talking to somebody like feeling like this person is your friend and then you notice they're not coming with friendship intentions and then you start pulling back from them. It affects a couple of people, right? So, so a lot- That's what I used to do. That's what I do a lot. Like when I start seeing that, oh, you're already giving me face off. Oh, I like you and I don't like you. I just like, please, let's be guided. Please stay your own way. Let me stay my own way. Uh, yeah. just be like, oh, me telling you that, no, I don't like you that way. It's going to hurt you, you understand? But when you ask me though, I will tell you, but when I start noticing, before you start asking, I'm already shifting back. So that I'll know that, okay, let's be guided. You're just my friend so fast that level you understand but <laughs> yeah but i think that the time when i see i need to pull back from somebody again that's almost in dating that's called ghosting in friendship so i feel like you can ghost friends i try to have a conversation but not really ask you what your intentions are so you've been heavily flirting and at that point i can really say that okay this person categorically likes me it's kind of like occurring at some point where i had to jokingly i didn't want to lose this friendship so i just jokingly said ah, you know if somebody reads this our message they'll be thinking something else you know and all of that so i said something like that and so i think at that point i start hinting that i'm going to pull back because i feel like the dynamics is kind of like changing. I think we owe it sometimes to people to have that kind of conversation. I was talking about think, um, dating and stuff like that. Let's move into like, what do you think people are supposed to be doing while they are dating? You understand? Because some people they don't mind having sex when they're dating. Some people don't know, they don't mind like splitting bills. Some people don't mind staying together and stuff like that. What do you think people are supposed to be doing while dating? Is it just talking or the other things involved? How do you get to know if you, you can spend the rest of your life with somebody? It involves a lot of time, um, relationships at time. And what do you do during that time? You get to know the person. How do you get to know somebody? Ask questions, deep questions. Um, I also, for me, I also want to see, do we, and that's the word people use nowadays, do we vibe? Me, <laughs> I don't understand that vibe, but it's more <laughs> so, can we have conversations? Me, I don't want to be married to somebody where, we're just looking at ourselves like this. I think that period too is a period of again when you're trying to get to know somebody, you, you now know the things that you can um you can they call it red flags, things that again nobody's perfect. So setting and me, I'm not talking about toxic, whatever, taking toxic, whatever. I think before dating to what is what mentioning is knowing yourself so much or so yeah. well, you yeah. can't fully, I feel like you discover a lot about yourself. And so when it's the time of dating, you know what you're looking for, you know what you're compatible with. So it's time to see if there's compatibility. Um, mm -hmm. Generally, I wouldn't recommend just giving citing examples you're saying, I wouldn't recommend people living together 
I may be able to go and visit, but as a Christian, so I have to know like, okay, so are you taking the couch? Are you taking, like, how, how does that dynamics work? Before marriage, I, I wouldn't really recommend fully living with somebody. There are ideologies where like, you have to live with the person first before you can get to know the person and all of that type of thing. I feel like even in marriage, you still continue to get to know this person. So you want to be with someone that in the dating stage, you're able to trust that they're also being honest. You want to you want to ju- also tally their words with their actions. So that's a prayer mm-hmm. to watch what their actions are. And maybe that's why people say you have to live together to see the actions. But I feel like you don't have to live together to see those actions. Because people are always like, they're like okay, I want to just be talking to this person. She our conversation is not going to be boring later on. What am I supposed to be doing? You understand? That's why I'm asking. So, so that people can know that, okay, it's not just, I feel like you cannot just get to know, like, it depends on the kind of person you are with, you understand? If you are with someone that is very interesting and if you vibe, <laughs> you will not have any boring moments, you understand? Even your little, little fight self is like interesting for you, <laughs> you get. So it's not about, oh, you having sex or having any deep intimacy thing that's going to now cause you to now mm-hmm. be person better. Um, for me, the dating phase is the time where you get to really know this person, build trust, build friendship, um, build intimacy. Now, when I say build intimacy, I'm not saying build and know each other's um, sexual life. No, that's not what I'm saying. Intimacy is a whole lot beyond physical intimacy. Financial intimacy, um, intellectual intimacy. Can we have Very conversation? Very intellectual conversation and not get bored. Or um, I'm dating you, but then each time like something happens, there's a high point in my life, I can't call you because you're just going to flat, flatten everything. Mm-hmm. I have to call another friend. So you have to be, to some extent, I'm not saying like um, the person have to be there, but you should be able to hold intellectual conversations with this person. So this is the period where you get to build all of those. Okay, so yeah. Another thing I was going to say is now, and then this is both for the, it's not just ladies. This is both for the guys. Is a time when I, I don't know, I don't want to say where you should be because it's going to look like I'm asking you us to be selfish when you're dating. But then, um, it's that time where you look out for yourself as well where you try not to lose yourself just because you're in a relationship Mm -hmm. because when you start losing yourself in a relationship Mm -hmm. you would do more in marriage so it's that period of time where you don't you try not to lose yourself in while trying to fit in into this person's space and fitting into this person's life 